got out to my spot just a little bit late this morning. Uh, missed probably the best light, but still had some opportunities. Uh, I was able to get a red-winged blackbird singing. I'm actually really happy with this shot. And I thought that I'd share four elements that you really need to consider when trying to capture breath in an image. The first one, of course, is temperature. Cold temperatures are absolutely essential to capturing the breath of an animal. Obviously, if you can't see your own breath, you're not going to be able to see the animal's breath. Lighting's really important too. The sun needs to be low in the sky. So the perfect time is either going to be right around sunrise or sunset. You need to position yourself so the sun is behind the subject. The breath will pass in front of the light and it will become more visible. That said, background is the third element to consider. Your results are going to be the best if the background is clean. A dark background isn't absolutely necessary, but the light color of the light filtering through the breath will likely be more noticeable against a dark background. And then finally, exposure. It's really easy to overexpose these shots, so you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to your histogram and make sure that you're not pushing those highlights all the way to the right edge of the image. The subject will likely be a bit dark, but you can raise the exposure in the edit if necessary. It's kind of funny, I've had my two to 800 on my R5 since I got it, really. And I've been photographing at a lake where all of the subjects were pretty far out on the lake. And I thought today that I'd throw my one to five back on the R5. And it didn't take too long before I was kind of missing that extra reach that the two to eight provides. So after shooting some this morning, I've gone back to my vehicle and swapped out my, my lenses. So I have the two to eight on again right now, and uh, we're gonna see if we can find some subjects. been a great morning with the Cardinals. They're in their mating season, so I was able to witness quite a few territorial disputes going on. I wasn't really able to capture any video or uh, photographs of that because what would happen is the Cardinals would fly in from one spot and they go into these bushes and they just kind of circle each other and follow each other and chase each other out and then they would repeat the process. It just kept happening over and over and over. So that was a lot of fun to watch. I've been out here for quite a while so I think I'm going to call it a day. The activity has definitely died down and the light is just a little bit too harsh. Hope you enjoyed following along today. If you liked this video, be sure to check this one out and I'll see you there.